Hey YouTube, welcome to Vlogmas. Let's get this day started. I made myself a Nutella latte. I'll try to see if I, I'll probably do one later today. Show you guys, I posted a Reels on Instagram. There's a cafe locally that does them in the winter time. So I thought, let me try it at home. So easy to make and so good. Um, obviously, I feel like anything with Nutella is so good. But today is a Wednesday. So today is at home microdermabrasion facial day. That was like a mouthful. I have this PMD at home microdermabrasion right here. Love it and like to use it. Wednesday is like my at home facial day where I will, starting off with a clean face, do the at home microdermabrasion using this guy right here. And then I spray a toner and then I use my PMD cleanser, the warming side, to apply my serums. I actually have a gua sha, I think it's pronounced gua sha. I started looking into it. I know it's not new. This It's been like the thing, the it thing, facial tool for some time now, but I bought one off of Amazon. I went through a whole bunch, so I'm hoping this is a good quality one. Uh, it's hard to tell. I feel like you never know if it's like stained glass or I think I got white quartz if I'm not mistaken. I think it's coming in today if I'm not mistaken, so I do want to do some more research on that if you guys have any tips and tricks. I know there are a lot of videos on YouTube that I've watched. There's some, there's like a lot on the internet, but if anybody has experience, let me know. So let's just I honestly get right into it. My face is sensitive so it does turn red. Alright, I'm gonna wash that, but first let me just apply some toner. And then apply the serums directly onto all nice and warm. That is that. I'm gonna apply my moisturizer, sunscreen, and my eye patches. I have one left, 12 days of masking. I would totally repurchase these. I feel like my kids are like yelling in the other bathroom and it's like right next to this one. But I feel like they have made my under eyes just so moisturized and plump almost. I still have fine lines. I feel like once, once you have fine lines, you have fine lines. So unless you're doing Botox, um, it's you can diminish the appearance of them, but I feel like they're just going to be there unless there's like some technology out there that I don't know about when it comes to skincare. But for the most part, you know, skincare products are not gonna completely make them go away as if you are like 10 years old or five, but I do feel like this definitely helped plump that whole area up and really hydrate it. And I've used, this is the 12th one, so I used it for almost 12 consecutive days. I think there were two days where I like skipped a day. And I do feel like with skincare, you know you gotta be consistent. And I have just really, really liked these. So I'm gonna let these sit on my under eyes and go do some, make the bed, do some homeschool with Aviana and uh, go about this wellness vlog. get back to normal. I've tried these eight greens tablets before. Basically like greens in a tablet. They're so convenient and I like the flavor and I like that they help me get my greens in because that's something that I definitely struggle with and it also helps with my water intake. So it's kind of like a win-win for me and this one's their facial in a glass. I saw it and I was like this seems really cool. It has biotin in it and collagen. So I thought the concept was really cool and you got to give them some time to kind of like fully dissolve. I would say give it up to maybe five, ten minutes, something like that. 
and it's just a great way for me to get my greens in and my water intake so i've just been really liking these and i like this flavor as well it has like an apple a little bit of an apple flavor so i'll link these down below but i mentioned that i use the fit on app few in a few vlogs and it's just a great way for me to be able to work out from home like if my kids are doing something playing all i need is 15 20 25 minutes this one was four rounds of a few exercises one after the other with like 30 seconds in between so it's a hit workout i signed up for one of the challenges all the workouts are free this is not sponsored i just really like the app because i love the convenience of having an app so this is a great app if you want free workouts check it out but let me sip on my oh, i just find them so refreshing this came in yesterday this is the scalp spray that i was talking about in yesterday's vlog it is a thickening treatment scalp spray and it is supposed to help thicken the hair strands as well as actually help improve the hair after prolonged use. It says about three months or so. And it's just basically like a spray. You just spray it. I don't want to waste it because this stuff was expensive, you guys. Let me, let me spray it on my hair. You're supposed to use it, I think, on damp hair, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't used it yet, yes. In clean, damp hair, mist directly onto the scalp. And then style as usual. Use after every wash, instantly plumps hair at the roots while creative, denser looking strands over the course of three months. Had amazing reviews, so I was like, sign me up for that. I have to charge my battery, but that's another thing that I purchased from Orbe, and then I have a scalp scrub coming in today from Orbe. So once those packages come in, I'll pick up my camera. For now, I'm just gonna sip my green juice and cool down. All right, trying to figure out where it's the best place to put my camera. I think I'm just gonna leave it on a bottle here. But I had my Amazon packages come in, so I thought I would share about some of them. There was the Orbe Serene Scalp Exfoliating Scrub, which I already like tried it, not tried it, but like smelled it. So this is the Serene Scalp, which you're supposed to use. My plan is to use this in the shower, I think. Yeah, so before shampooing, you wet the hair, apply directly to scalp, massage through or thoroughly, rinse, and then shampoo condition. As usual, use weekly. Maybe tomorrow's vlog, well, I'll use this as well as the spray that I showed at the beginning of the video. Once I wash my hair, I'll spray that throughout the treatment. But this is basically literally like a scrub, but for your scalp. And smells amazing. It has that amazing Orbe smell. Almost has like a bit of a grit to it. I feel like a happy, healthy scalp will make for happy, healthy hair. It's one thing to try to treat the hair that's already out, but I think it's a whole nother thing to actually go to the root, pun intended, and treat the root of the problem. Oh, it's so funny if I'm laughing at my own jokes here. And then my gua sha stone came in. I thought I ordered white quartz, I guess it was jade, but it just, I tried it a little bit, just like gliding it along the face, and it does come with like a pamphlet you can watch YouTube videos online, all that good stuff. Really excited to incorporate this and I've just heard so many great things so I thought I'd jump on the bandwagon and give it a try myself. So that came in and then last but not least, these two Naturium products here. So I bought the Vitamin C Super Serum and the Niacinamide Serum, not knowing that the Vitamin C Super Serum already has Niacinamide in it so I might return this one. Um, niacinamide is great. They're both similar but different like if you research them which i've done i've researched both of them and i think it's nice to have both but the fact that this one already has niacinamide in it i'm not sure what the percentage is but it does have niacinamide in it it has vitamin c retinol hyaluronic acid niacinamide and salicylic acid which is different from this glycolic acid that i have here also from naturium and i'll use this several times a week at nighttime after i cleanse um, I don't know, I've just been really liking the Naturium line, so might return the Niacinamide, probably won't even open it, won't even bother. I haven't even put on any makeup today just because we've been chilling, kind of just chilling around the house. So I'm going to go make some matcha and probably sit by my husband on the couch. I was going to make a matcha latte, but I figured, let me show you guys how I did the Nutella latte. It's really good. It's like a great sweet treat. All you need is espresso, steamed milk graham cracker crumbs and uh, Nutella. I have hazelnut spread from Aldi because it's cheaper, but Nutella, it basically tastes like Nutella to me. So you just take your graham crackers, kind of like crumb them up into like little crumbs because that's what's going to be coating the rim of the 
espresso cup that you're gonna be using. I got these off of Amazon. I think they're the perfect size for like a little cappuccino. But let me go ahead and crush these up. Take your hazelnut, little scoop, and spread it around the rim. You don't have to be like precise, cute, and perfect. Just enough so that the graham crackers will have something to hold on to. And I did a teaspoon of Nutella inside for that coffee Nutella flavor. And I feel like I didn't taste the Nutella as much, so you can definitely do a tablespoon. I feel like a tablespoon would add more Nutella flavor to the actual latte itself. And take your cup, flip it upside down so that you can coat the rim with the graham crackers. Almost forgot the most important part. You want to scoop some Nutella. If you want that your latte to have that Nutella flavor, then scoop some Nutella in the cup. I did about this much in the morning and it really didn't have a Nutella flavor, so you can do more. But I feel like Nutella is one of those things that is like crazy calorie dense. It's okay, yellow. And then just add your shot literally right on top and it's all gonna melt and mix together.